All right, you guys. So today we are going to get a look at two of the Black Series figures from the Mandalorian series that will be premiering on Disney Plus on November 12th, guys. And I will be doing reactions to the show. So you definitely want to like and subscribe, guys, so you can catch those reactions to the Mandalorian. I should have it up hopefully by Tuesday evening, Wednesday morning, guys. So uh, please stay tuned for those reactions to the Mandalorian series, guys. But today we are going to get a look at Kara Dune from the Mandalorian series as well as IG-11, guys. So we're going to get a look at the box, guys. So let's go ahead and get started. Of course, we have the black series on both sides, guys, of the boxes. Uh, we have our figures depicted in the window. Cara Dune looks like she has about three weapons there. And then your boy IG-11 has two weapons at his disposal. Cara Dune, IG-11, warning labels. You also have the uh, four and up symbol right there that they've included on the box. And of course, we have our illustration of the two figures off in the right hand corner guys so, you will look at the side of the box where the numbering is guys we have Cara Dune as number 101 and then IG-11 because he is an exclusive to Best Buy here in the United States there is no numbering for that figure guys but you still have IG-11 and then Cara Dune just under where the number would be on their perspective boxes and then on the back of the box we have our Again, number one on one for Cara Dune, Star Wars logo, Black Series. We also have a description of the character on the back of the box as well with an illustration of Cara Dune just off to the right hand side of it. And then of course for IG-11, same thing. Again, he is an exclusive, so there is no numbering. Star Wars, Black Series, IG-11, his description as well as his illustration off to the right hand side. So your guys. description for IG-11 reads, one of a series of dangerous assassin droids largely outlawed in the galaxy. IG-11 is a hired gun program to follow bounty hunter guild protocols to the letter. So really cool and very awesome description on your IG-11 character and figure. And then for your description on the character Cara Dune, a veteran of the Galactic Civil War who fought for the rebellion, Cara Dune is a seasoned warrior who put her days of military discipline behind her and now is rejuvenated herself as a mercenary. So on both of our respective characters here, we have Cara Dune with Cara Dune in this shaded background. And then for IG-11, we have IG-11. And then again, IG-11 in the shaded background on the other side of the box, guys. All right, you guys. So there they're going to pull both of these characters out of the box. We're going to get a look at the articulation on both a look at all of the assessments. All right, you guys. So we have our figures out of the box, and I am very, very impressed right out of the box, guys. Now, of course, IG-11, to a certain extent, is sort of a repack of IG-88. The noticeable differences, obviously, right out of the box from IG-88 versus IG-11. The double breasted bandolier that you get with your IG-11 figure. And then of course, IG-11 also has some brass points in his, uh, in the shoulders. Uh, also, it looks like uh, in the forearms as well, uh, he has some brass parts that may distinguish him clearly from IG-88, guys. So really, really cool. And then of course you have Kara Dune here, who is absolutely awesome out of the box. She has a very, very cool large weapon. And again, guys, forgive my ignorance on the name of the weapons, uh, but she has a very large weapon with a dual magazine, uh, which is really, really cool. She also has a side pistol. And then she comes with a knife as well, uh, which I believe is the first time we've seen this particular weapon uh, with the uh, Star Wars Black Series figures. I could be wrong, guys, but uh, I believe this is the first for me 
uh, at least anyway, guys. So really cool. And then, of course, you have a very nice face sculpt on Cara Dune uh, to the actress who is playing the character in the Mandalorian series. All right, you guys. So we have our IG-11 figure right here next to our IG-88 figure that was given to us in the Black Series Black Box with the blue line, guys. Uh, if you are familiar with that uh, portion of the line, the earlier series of the Black Series figures, guys. Not the archive uh, that was just released. However, I believe it is the same exact figure. So, uh, guys, as you can see, obviously, as we had mentioned earlier, there are some notable differences. Uh, the copper on the shoulder there uh, is a bit different. Uh, also, uh, one of the other differences is uh, IG-88 is coming with an additional weapon, uh, which is that hatchet weapon uh, at, that you see uh, on the back there. He also has a, a holder uh, for that weapon on the back as well. So that is really cool. And then, of course, uh, everything else is uh, almost about the same. There are some coloring differences in some of the mechanisms in the IG-11 figure versus your IG-88 figure. Uh, so it is really, really cool uh, to have both figures there. I, I think there is a very good possibility that IG-88 could show up in the Mandalorian series or we could learn the fate of IG-88 uh, through IG-11. I'm sure he's heard many legendary stories of IG-88's exploits as a bounty hunter. Uh, so uh, I think one of the main themes of the series is the uh, fact that IG-11 is going to be confused for IG-88 uh, throughout the series. And I think that's going to be the running joke uh, of the series as well there, guys. So getting you a look at the back of our perspective figures here again, IG-11, IG-88. Uh, we have IG-88 with uh, a couple of his weapons stored in his holster, which is found on the back of the bandolier, uh, which is really cool. Again, he does come with the additional hatchet that your IG-11 uh, does not come with. Uh, however, uh, IG-11 does also have a holster for his weapon in the back as well. So that is really, really cool. And that pretty much is the differences between IG-11 and IG-88. They are very similar figures. Um, however, uh, again, the differences would be in the amount of weapons and the uh, color scheme uh, of your prospective figures, guys. So very cool, very, very awesome stuff. And then getting you a look at your IG-11 figure, a closer look at your IG-11 figure. Again, he is very similar to your IG-88 figure for the exception of the different color schemes and the amount of weapons that he comes with. But he is very cool and I cannot wait to see his exploits in the uh, new series, which again is premiering next week on Tuesday, guys. Very, very excited for this series, guys. Really cool. So with your articulation, your IG-11 figure is gonna give you a straight out pose like so with the arm it's gonna give you an elbow bend. So it gives you an elbow bend that goes back about that far. It actually extends a little bit more, but uh, to get it in place or, or uh, where it's held in place, that's probably as far back as he's gonna get it uh, for you guys. Your, your twist with your IG-11 is gonna be at the elbow there, guys. So your twist is at the elbow. IG-11 figure is gonna go out to the side like so. So that is absolutely awesome. Gives you a very cool side out pose. IG-11 will go all the way around 360 for you in the arm, so that is absolutely awesome. In the leg area, he's gonna kick out like so. He's gonna give you a knee bend that's about that high, so that's really awesome. He's gonna go back about that far. Not a lot of articulation there, but he is a droid. So, you know, there is going to be some limitations on how far back he's going to be able to go there. there. Is no out to the side articulation in the hip area that allows the leg to, to extend out with your IG-11 figure. In the ankle area, he's going to go down that far, up that far. So your ab crunch is basically in the hip area here because there is no ab uh, on this droid 
So he will extend down that far, extends back about that far. So it's all in the hip area, but very, very cool. And then in your head area, he does give you a very good left to right. And then there is the up and down from the shoulders. As you can see, the rotation is from the shoulders. So he will extend down extremely far and extend back in the shoulders about that far, guys. So really, really cool stuff. Very nice articulation with your IG-11 Mandalorian Black Series 6-inch figure, guys. Really, really cool stuff. All right, you guys. So now we are going to get you a look at Car we're going to get you a look at Cara Dune. So let's get a closer look at this figure. All right, guys. So getting you a closer look at Cara Dune. Really, really awesome. Very impressed with this figure. Again, I cannot wait to see her exploits in the Mandalorian series. She is very badass. And she has a very badass weapon there. As you guys can see with the dual barrel. So that is awesome. The dual magazine. She has her knife, as I had mentioned earlier there. Her side pistol as well on the side in her holster. Very nice attention to the uh, detail. I don't know if she has Mandalorian armor on here, but she definitely has some style of armor uh, that is patterned uh, after Mandalorian armor. I'm not sure, but uh, again, she looks really cool, very awesome. Get you guys a look at the back. Again, very cool design and texture in the armor, shoulder pads across the back there. She has the belt there, which is uh, not uh, molded to her uh, per se. It is uh, fairly loose. As a matter of fact, that's how, because I was looking, trying to find where I could store the knife uh, for her. And as you can see, it kind of slides very nicely uh, inside of that belt. So that's kind of cool uh, that they have that for you there. I wasn't sure where the knife should go in it, uh, in regards to its proper placing, uh, but I thought that was a very nice way to uh, display that knife in her belt, so that's really cool. And again, you have the detail here. You have the attention to detail to the boots. She has a couple of items there attached to the lower half of her boot. Again, with the holster and the weapon, you have the uh, holster there fits nicely fits very very nicely in the holster and you have the uh, opening clasp to uh, hold the weapon in so that's very cool very nice job by Hasbro attention to detail so for your articulation for your Cara Dune figure she's going to give you she's gonna go straight out for you like so so that is really cool She's gonna give you an elbow bend that goes about that far, guys. So she's gonna give you an elbow bend about that far. Your twist is gonna be in the wrist there, guys. So you have a twist in the wrist. Also have the up and down hinge in the wrist there. So you have the up and down hinge to adjust the wrist as so. So with her shoulder pad here, uh, it limits how far you can raise her arm that's about as far as you can rain the as you can raise the arm uh so you're not going to get a 360 action uh with her arm uh but i don't think you would necessarily need her to give you that 360 action i think her going up that far is good enough uh for the figure uh for any kind of pose that you're trying to do with the figure so that's not too bad and then, of course, your twist is also in the elbow as well, guys. You get a twist in the elbow. In the leg area, she's going to kick out about that far for you, so that's really awesome. She's going to give you a knee-high bend that's about that far, so that's really cool. She goes back extremely well, double-jointed knee, so she's going to go back very, very far for you. Twist. 
is at the thigh. So you have a twist, you have a twist at the thigh there, guys. So have a twist just below the knee as well. So you get a twist just below the knee. And then in the ankle area, she's gonna go down about that far. She goes up about that far, guys. And then you do get the rocker that allows her ankle to go back and forth. So very cool. So in the ab area, she's gonna give you an ab crunch that goes down about that far. So that's really cool. She's gonna go back extremely well. Very, very nice articulation. And then of course you get a nice range all the way around. Excellent side to side. So nice range all the way around in the torso area. In the neck area, she's gonna go down about that far, back about that far. Excellent left to right. So really cool. Very, very awesome. A little bit of the head nod in the head area, guys. So really good articulation with your Cara Dune six inch black series figure from the Mandalorian series, guys. Really, really awesome. Is the world more peaceful since the revolution? It is a shame that your people suffered. But bounty hunting is a complicated profession. They said you were coming. They said you were the best in the Parsec. Would you agree?
guys. So there it is, your Kara Doom and IG-11 six inch black series figures for the Mandalorian series. Really cool, very awesome figures, very poseable, nicely detailed. Very, very awesome. Very glad to have these in my collection, guys. But let me know what your thoughts are. Have you picked up the Kara Dune and IG-11 figures? IG-11 is an exclusive here in the United States for Best Buy. I believe Kara Dune is available at Walmart and Target maybe also GameStop and any other online retailer. Entertainment Earth, Hasbro Plus, Dorkside, Bad Boy, Toy Store, any one of those retailers should have her available for you guys. And then also guys, do not forget I will be doing reactions to the Mandalorian series, which will be premiering next Tuesday on the 12th of November. So you wanna make sure that you subscribe, click that little bell so you get notifications when my reactions go up. So thank you guys for watching. Let me know what your thoughts are. Put those comments down below. Please like and subscribe. And of course, guys, from the father to the son to the OB-1 force ghost. May the force be with you always.